as soon as we do this. I'm going to be getting rid of, I think, I'm be getting rid of the imagery and just put MP3 audio. So let's look at let's look at some of the data we're looking at. And one of the data, and one of the things I'm going to be doing is going to be I'm, I'm realizing a lot of the commercial skits that a lot of the YouTubers do. In my bold opinion, as someone with zero viewers and zero followers, are are a waste of time. I'd rather do powerpoints. I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, should I go do use Open Shot? Should I? use GIMP, right? I, I, I thought about it for a while, and I was thinking, I was like, no, not really. Look, it's true. 80% of it looks cool and fantastic. I, I don't doubt that, but the thing I don't like about a lot of YouTubers, respectfully, is they never really use their budget to talk to people, if that makes sense. Oh, no, I like them. Don't get me wrong. They watch it, but they're not, like, actually talking to their fans. No, no, the other 80% is useful. Don't get me wrong. But that only works if you're, like, doing plane tours, right? Right? I, I want to see some plane tours of people buying products. Like, I, I want... So they, like, know what they want, right? Because, you know, the economy is a revolving loop, right? Right? It's a revolving loop of life. And... Oh, okay. And part of the problem with the economy, I just talk, right? I don't have any real, real skills right now. And so, here's the thing. There is, and here's the thing. There is, no, there, you need PowerPoints. Why? Because it describes the features of the product. It, it resembles what you buy in like an Amazon e-commerce store. And it's the easiest way to get introduced to stuff. If you do cool animations, that works too. <laughs> no, you're wrong. But, like, for a low budget, right, it, it just doesn't shoot well. It just doesn't It just doesn't sell well. That's why I'm thinking right now, I, if I could get people in a PowerPoint, I can start offering, like, I can start offering more advanced ads if people want to know more about the product. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking I might just use PowerPoint permanently. We'll just see as I brainstorm along. I create my own little video recommendation being on my PowerPoint pamphlets. We'll see. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what's going on. We'll see. I don't know if anyone on YouTube cares. Just, just offer some downloads, see if people are interested. And I, I almost guarantee you, people aren't always looking to buy a product. They may be looking to purchase from the sponsor, but it might be something else. So you can help the sponsor branch elsewhere, right? Yeah, you, YouTube is very, very predatory uh, atmosphere. It's very predatory. It was, it was nice back in 06, back when people did like door-to-door -door sales work and everything else, but it's kind of, it's been pewtering off. The only real people that are making any living, and I'm kind of curious about it, are like the artists. And you could do lyrics, by the way, you could do a lyrics commercial, right? You could talk, you know, you know, you know uh, Allstate, you know, Geico, right? They have their own songs. That's like buying a product, right? You might as well just do commercial songs and every car just really want to do that, right? Yeah, that's, that's, they're, the, they're like running, either, it's either trailers, product trailers, or, uh, anime style, or the only other ones are like artists, I, the music one. I'm trying to think real hard about this right now. Yeah, the artists, like, I don't know who, I don't listen to music these days. I just know music's a fantastic way if it's got interesting Celtic music, right? It just adds a little flavor there. YouTube was a music channel before. They were for a reason because it brought in the most ad revenue because they mainly focus in on the sponsors. They kind of abandoned that model. I don't know. There's this human nature of people having good ideas and then farting on it after like five years of any company. The staffers or whoever is a YouTube influencer, they get lazy. It's like, I want to do my own stuff now. I'm trying to get rid of my ego. It's, it's just too painful. I'd rather focus on playing video games. Here's my video game walkthrough, right? People do this all the time in the office. It, it just it just stops working. I don't know who to blame. Is it the CEO? Who even is the CEO? They said, I don't know what's going on over there. It's the CEO. Right? They blame the CEO. They blame the VPs. They just don't express it openly. Because then they have to negotiate, right? 
but they don't want to do that because they don't feel like they're paid what they're worth. So what they didn't do is complain on Glassdoor, right? So then they run away, right? So all the good good people who make the model run away. It's kind of like, where have all the good... <laughs> all the applicants run away. I feel like it's time to broach this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think people are doing that. I, it's, you know, it's one thing if you did it for like 10 years, but we've been doing this for the last 50 or 70 years now, right? Or you know, for a while, maybe a century. Or eons. Whatever you want to debate with it. It's just getting too far. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. People are kind of like forgetting what they're doing, why they're doing certain stuff, so they can't fix it. They just pretend like the problem doesn't exist. And you pretend so much you believe it doesn't exist. Yeah, YouTube could go back to being a music channel. They'll probably make more money. Yeah, they, they should. If, they, if any musician once gets big, they may be. Maybe they can. They don't have to be the best song, right? They don't have to be Susan Boyle, but you know what they can be? They, they can kiss advertising, but you can always chip tune and audit your sound, right? Modify it. People will listen. Of course they listen. They don't care. And if you want something more substantial, just say, hey, sponsor, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're going to have a little Kickstarter fund for some of your products. There you go. Problem solved. Now you can do documentaries, right? Journalists, yes, they used to do that. They don't want to play this game anymore. That sounds terrible. That sounds very horrifying. I'd rather cover fake news, actually. When people complain about the news model, they don't they don't know what they're complaining about. That's what you want to cover fake news. People need to join the game. <laughs> people just don't know what, what what good things they're destroying sometimes. They just have to think about this. I'm very confident if they spend the time thinking and contemplating about what it is they're actually attacking, they'll lose less money. No, they shouldn't be complaining about people at Andrew's game. Ask him, how do I play this game? You can be independent and be him. You just got to think about this for a little while. Oh, yes, they should. They got a rich family. Maybe can attract some chicks. Just think about it. Huh. I can cover some fake news and then some real news. Oh, now I'm legitimate, right? Don't set the bar too high for yourself, Tim Pool. You negotiate, right? Got him, right? I got 80% fake news, 20% real news. Anderson's all fake news, right? That's what you do. You don't go all independent. That's dumb, dude. I see these users like, you're doing too much work, Anderson. And fake news should be about the advertising. Oh, Google opened up a couple of new factories, right? It should be focused on the advertisers. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, right? Right. In return, you cover more realness. You see that? You know, when you all independent, now everyone has a high bar of what you're doing. That's why it's called the entropy universe. Because that's an irrational thought. No, you shouldn't. Maybe he's really passionate about it. You shouldn't have high expectations. Anchoring is a product of an irrational universe. I'm sorry. How is that not irrational? It's like, that doesn't mean it's actually going to happen, right? You're setting an expectation. Your expectation should be set up by facts. Anchoring is not a fact, by the way. It's just a magic gimmick. Yeah, it's terrifying to, to think about that, to contemplate that. It's a con it's a terrifying thing. And, and, and you know something? That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the audio and I'm gonna I'm gonna think about this. Just 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 know I'm gonna be doing a lot of PowerPoint presentations. Let's start simple. I don't know. You know, some of the best, best advertising commercials are admin supports if they're geared right. I'm serious right now. It's just incredible. I, I just look at the uh, vast array of opportunities and think, well, you know, I, I might. Seems interesting. I rather advertise for sponsors because sponsors are developed, they're established, they have resources. Uh, going independent is not worth it. No one's paying you anything. Anyone being paid who's independent and actually wants to help the common populace? Please tell me. I I love to hear a good argument. There used to be. There used to be. They, the politicians used to get paid like more than six figures. There used to be a time when people were worth investing in. We're not in the past right now, right? This is not the old republic, right? This is the new republic. 
right? A lot of the new businesses are from like these old dynasties from like what, the 60s? There's a few new ones, don't get me wrong, but most of them are not legit. You ever wonder why new businesses fail all the time? Because it's not, it's getting less legitimate as time goes on. Think about it. Shouldn't businesses, if they're less risky, have 100% success rate? They did at one point, didn't they? Trade guilds, remember? You gotta stop lying to yourself. You're always shorting each other. Everyone now has to join up with a sponsor. You, you can't expect people to be independent these days. It doesn't matter if you're sexy, your voice is sexy like Susan Boyle. You need, you need, you need money. <laughs> ah! Where, where's the money, you guys? All right, it doesn't matter how you feel about them. Money speaks. You really want your HR complaints to mean something? Start being worth more. I literally hate... No, there's people that are worth a lot, right? There's some YouTubers they got there. They're worth more, but you got to be honest. Right? They, they can't... They, they have potential. It's there already. As of right now. I have to know more about them. Right? Right? Pewds can gather a bunch of a political army of goblins... You know, you just do, they all do video game walkthroughs every Sunday or something. It's prayer PewDiePie church day. Yeah, and, and if, I don't even know if Tier Series will join, but who knows? All right, they, he may reluctantly purchase stuff from them. I'm just telling you, you, you gotta, you gotta like take YouTube. You gotta take YouTube for what it is. It's not a place. <laughs> it is a place to accomplish stuff, but you need like the right staffers, which they all leave, by the way. It's always high turnover, regardless of which company you go to, right? Anytime you hear, I'd rather start my own business, it's like if they're not in the attitude of go for it, that's usually code word for I'm gonna degrade this product. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's what they do. They all do that. Why do I need to bring this up? Well, the economy's not in the best shape as it's been. I don't even... God, I think it's really hard to find a programming job even before when I was in school. I'm just telling you. It, it, it seems like we're declining too much. Right? The Dust Bowl was better. Unemployment rate was like zero. Right? They all started their own businesses where they're, if they were out of work. There's a lot of myths out there. There's plenty, plenty of myths. Anyways, I'll talk later.